going to recognize each sport, each team today. And what I will do, I'll, I'll ask the team to stand up. I'll say a little bit about the team, and you will sit down. And I will recognize some of the students in the individual uh, sports. First sport is girls golf. Please stand. see we have two members of our girls golf team and they're very successful. Overall we placed second in the league. And since y'all two are already standing up, I don't think you see my hands stand back up. But Lady Alice is seventh overall and Emerson Cross was second place overall. Let's give these ladies up. Boys golf, our team was third place overall. We didn't have any eighth graders in place in the league, but these young men continue to improve. I believe in our league team, both of these guys showed their best scores of the season. Thank you guys. Our cross country team, stand up when you're in cross country. Our cross country team did not place, but we had an um, individual in place. Fifth place overall in the league. Volleyball team, stand up, please. Uh, these young ladies ended up third place in our league. It was a very competitive league. There was probably three or four teams that were pretty even. We could, could have won it, and that's what we need. You know, winning and losing, that's a middle school. Middle school is not all about winning and losing, it's about showing growth. Improved, and I think these young ladies did. Let's give them a round of applause. Not like that. Uh, cheerleading. Cheerleading team stand up. We had a competitive team this year, and they competed in a few competitions. They had two third place finishes, one second place finish. Give these ladies a round of applause. We did have a quiz bowl team, and I don't think there are any eighth graders, but any eighth graders can be on quiz bowl. I do not want to leave anyone out. Right, it was a rebuild of year for quiz bowl. Had everybody come back. <laughs> Mr. Robin Ed is a great job. All right, football. You played football, please stand up. Uh, these young men were. Second place in the regular season. That really doesn't matter. They were 5-1 in the regular season, 7-1 overall. So that means they did not lose in the playoffs. They were the two seed. And they went to West Side, think West Side in the championship game. So let's give these guys around. Right. Uh,
second in the league. They lost in the first round of our tournament. They were seven and five. But they really got after it. Played hard. You came to many boys basketball games. Um, most of the teams were bigger, stronger, faster. Than them, okay. They passed what I call the high school. But we we battled with them. We gave every team a great game. Probably won some games. We shouldn't have against better teams. That's a testament to your hard work um, and your coaches.
hero challenge to be a good teammate. Put yourself second and your teammates first. Never, never give up on anything you do. One door closes, another door opens. As we try to get our students ready for high school, we focus a lot on the importance of academic achievement and how it will affect their future. So we would like to recognize some academic excellence. On each of the students' certificates that they receive, they will have a seal if they have an A average in the class. Some students have earned an A average for the year in all four of their academic classes. And we want to give some special recognition for those that are on the All-A Honor Roll. So students, when your name is called, please stand for receiving All-A's this year. Harrison Adams, Aaron Austin, Emma Barnes, Jared Barrientos, Julian Benavides, Maddox Bivens, Daniel Buckner, Daniel Carver, Jay Pasternak, Chandler Chapman, Elizabeth Cortez, Emerson Crossan, Baker Deaton, Bo Fowler, Albert Gillespie, Mars Gillespie, Maisie Hall, John Hernandez, Alex Hurtado, Mia Gemarillo, Gabriel Lernega, Charlotte Ledford, Catalina Loa, Adriana Marquez, Madison Martin, Aliana Minvar, Viviana Morales, Zoe Morgan, Allie Newton, Lainey Hollis, Josie Polaris, Joaquin Paramo, Angela Perez, Bonnie Polly, Caleb Quinn, Taylor Reyes, Adriel Reyes, Mia Rowan, Josue Sandoval, Courtney Sheets, Hudson Smith, Pilar Sosa, Layla Taylor, Tucker Thompson, Trenton Tudor, Roxy Vega, Aiden Woodman, and Ashton Zinsmeister. Congratulations. Not only are we proud of those all eight students, but we're really proud of those students who worked hard and showed a lot of growth. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with the MAP test, Measures of Academic Progress. They've been taking that since elementary school, and we take it here in middle school as well in the fall, in the winter, in the spring. And we look at that data, and we look at how far they've grown, and we set targets, and we look at their strengths and weaknesses. So that's a really big deal when students have uh, improved so much because that's a nationally normed test. And so we want to recognize those students that showed a lot of growth on that test um, this year. So students, when I call your name for reading, we have Aaron Austin, Emma Barnes, Jose Carrera, Daniel Buckner, Daniel Carter, Landon Cooper, Elizabeth Cortez, Maisie Hall, Adriana Marquez, Araceli Polaris, Samuel Paredes, Cajuna Stanley, Weston Stanley, Trenton Tudor, Ethan Watson, and Emily Wilson. Congratulations. For language arts, we have Andrew Aguilar, Jose Cabrera, 
Daniel Buckner, Daniel Carver, Chandler Chapman, Nicholas German, Grace Glenn, AC Marie Lingerfeld, Manuel Mangana, Andrew Miller, Isaac Miranda, Samuel Paredes, Miguel Pedro, Hunter Robertson, Ian Ron, Courtney Sheets, Anthony Starks, Ashton Zinsmeister, and Landon Hackett.